Hello, everybody. Luca Fineste put in a comment about and the question about how to do radial sweeps with curves. Because this was quite a mystery for myself. Maybe this is really polite expression. I think it's just a couple of bucks. I thought I make a little tutorial. <clears throat> Uh, by the way, I am still on Modo 501. I will upgrade to Modo 701 once it's out. And maybe it has been fixed in Modo 601. So the behavior might not be the same if this is the case. And please let me know. Okay, let's start. I go to basic. And first I select the pen tool and go to type lines. Then uh, I draw out a couple of lines, doesn't really matter, and drop the tool, deselect everything because we cannot radial sweep uh, vertices. Then I always center everything in the middle, W key, and then move it out of the center so I really am certain I have control over the center of the sweep. Now let's sweep this. I go to duplicate. Then I go to action center origin. And then I go to radial sweep. I go back to action center origin and you see it has gone. I think this is a bug. If I select an out action center, it should stay there. But this is why I got used to always select the origin, uh, the action center immediately before I fire the command. So action center origin again, 16 over the Y. And now you will see we get the second error. I click in the viewport and it has changed from Y to Z. So I go back to Y. That's not a big deal, not a problem at all. But now if I subdivide this, it has a very strange appearance. And the reason is we have double polygons. So this can easily be fixed by going to polygon reduce, unify, hit the enter key and it has removed 96 polygons and we get a nice shape now although it is flipped so let's flip it back. Okay that's one thing that's working with this type of curves and getting the double polygons. Let me remove this go to the side view, A key. Now I can take really any kind of curve. The problems are all the same. So I use the sketch curve. You must keep uh, the left mouse button pressed when you sketch out such a curve. And uh, I make such a form here. And I go to these, drop the two. I select this word, text this one, and bring them together. Now I uh, go again, center, select it all, W key, and bring it out. And now I go again to duplicate, radial sweep action center is origin and this time I click on the apply then I don't have the problem so apply and you see it has done what uh, we wanted but you might notice we got a ton of new geometry so let me do this in a different way I undo everything, go to, to the side view again, and this time I go to edge mode. 
duplicate, radial sweep, action center, origin, and apply. And now we have a completely different picture. Now we only have uh, the geometry in which I was drawing. It's flipped, so let me flip it back. And if I look at this, then this might be what I want to have or might not be what I want to have. The point is, we get this funny uh, curve, it stays here. And if I find a good place, maybe this one here, Control Z, sorry, drop the tool, I select these vertices here, you see we only have one. This curve is part of the geometry and we have two ways of getting rid of it. Maybe here we see it even better. I select this word and you see it's only one. There are two ways how to get rid of this. One would be delete this half of the model and then mirror it over the X. The other one is we go to polygon mode and select this curve. If you have seen my uh, working with curves tutorial, you might remember that curves are a special kind of uh, polygons and then we can hit the delete key or the backspace key and it is gone. Okay, so that's the other point. Now, sometimes I delete this. <clears throat> uh, we might to combine this. By the way, if I select vertices, polygons or items, they all behave the same. It's only on edge mode where we uh, get uh, much less geometry. Let me let me show this again. I take a curve, uh, get rid of this here, curve again, and make something like this. <clears throat> Put it in the middle. W key. A key to center everything in the view. And now I go to duplicate, radial sweep, action center, origin, apply, and you see we only have three points. The three points I made uh, when I drew the curve. Now control set. Maybe it's better when I turn on the words. You see we have three. Now I do exactly the same, but instead on edges I go to polygons. So duplicate, radial sweep, action center, origin, and apply. And you see we got a lot more. We keep our shape beautifully and sometimes it might well be that we would like to have both of these worlds. <clears throat> so we stay in polygon mode, but I go to the basic tab, uh, select the pen tool in lines mode, and now we can combine uh, these different types of of curves. Maybe to here, down to here, and over to here in the middle. Doesn't really matter. Another one from here to here. Drop the tool. Now I must deselect everything 
and then I can again go to Duplicate, Radial Sweep, Action Center, Origin and Apply and you see now we have a combination of the different curves <clears throat> and we can now make uh, some combined object and can harden some edges. Unfortunately we have the same problem as I as we saw at the very beginning, namely double polygons. So um, again polygon reduce unify no, unify and press enter 80 polygons removed deselect everything <clears throat> now I can harden these edges maybe I must check if now we have flipped areas so L flip now it's all the same and I can now select all these edges harden them or do whatever I like or see and this gives nicely combined uh, curves so get rid of the workplace so this is really the only things which you must remember first select your action center immediately before you fire the command second if you select edges it behaves differently to vertices polygons and items and third you can combine any um, any art of curves which Modo provides. This can be very useful depending on what you want to do. And now a uh, very last quick tip here. Uh, if you think you still have too much geometry, you can select two edges like so, up arrow key and then press the L key and backspace delete and then you have removed half of it. So that's it. I hope it helped Luca and as I said this is Modo 501. If 601 behaves differently I would be interested if you put it in the comments. Thanks very much for watching. Take care and have fun modeling with Modo. See you some other time. Bye-bye.